What it do, gang? It's your boy Two Time Moto TV, man, and we got an epic video today. You see, I'm with my brother. Y'all see what we doing, man? Y'all see what we about to do, man? Today's the day. Today's the day that we all been waiting for for a new project for the channel. Not gonna tell you guys what I'm getting yet, just until we get there. So I'm gonna kind of keep it short and sweet, man. We got a long drive. It's about an hour and a half away. And go and pick up a vehicle, man. Project car for the channel. Also some that you know I can daily drive here and there before we actually start dumping some power into the car. But yeah, man, this is my dream car, let alone uh, from besides the Crown Victoria. You guys know the Crown Victoria, man, is the love of the channel, the love of my life, basically. And uh, yeah, man, we're gonna go ahead and start something new and fresh and still be doing the Crown Vic material and all the Crown Vic goods and everything else you guys wanna see, man. So. My brother's next. He's going to also be looking for another vehicle. And we'll tell you guys uh, later on what kind of vehicle he's looking for. And it's going to be a great project and also a great addition for the channel as well, man, to show you guys something new. It's going to be a little bit long in the tuna world. He already got a muscle car, which is a Scat Pack Dodge Charger. So we're looking for something in the tuna world along them lines so that uh, we can have some fun with his wheels. And we can burn the streets up. <laughs> so yeah, man, we're gonna go ahead and hit the road, man. We got a long drive, man. We'll let y'all know when we get there. Peace. away from the spot man from getting the car i'm gonna let y'all get a little glimpse of it on the trailer and stuff in the back but when we get it to the crib that's when we get y'all a full little wrap around of it or maybe not the car needs a little bit of work a little tlc but man that's what we wanted man we wanted a project vehicle the car runs like a scolding dog man uh, one thing that i can tell y'all is that it got uh either e or x 303 cam in it so even with me saying that and you guys are watching this video, y'all know what that means, y'all know what it is. Yes sir. You know what I'm saying? Yes sir. <laughs> so, I'm gonna give y'all a little glimpse back here. May have to chop the video up a little bit for y'all. Oh, can I see through the window? I don't know if I can see through the window. Uh, let's see if we can see through the window. Yeah, you can see through the window a little bit. Yeah, so y'all see it, man. Y'all see a little bit of what it is, man. When we get it back to the crib, we give a little wrap around of the car, man, and show y'all what we show y'all what we got back there, man. We got some goodies back there. Two times Moto TV. That's right, two time Moto TV, man. And uh, we got the car for a pretty good deal, even though it doesn't have any brakes. So we're gonna definitely pan that whole deal out. We got the parts right here sitting in the seat in the back that they're giving us. Um, what was it called? Like a distribution valve or something like yeah, that? Yeah, a proportion valve. Proportion valve. Uh, for the brake fluid to proportionalize itself to all four wheels equally. Instead of you being able to brake, you know what I'm saying, hard as heck on one side of the car, making it lose control and stuff, it's a proportion valve that we believe is probably out on the car that's not allowing that fluid to uh, distribute itself around the whole car. Or it could be, uh, could be the pump too. It could be, we gotta check the car out and see what needs bleeding and actually go through the calibers and go through the, um, the brake reservoir and things like that to actually see what's going on. You know, the seller didn't know what was going on. He really couldn't tell. So we sort of like guesstimated that it was a proportion valve. We guesstimated correctly, and he gave us the proportion valve. So we're just gonna get the car to the house and start looking through things and go through things so we can have good content to show you guys. Yes, sir. Car is definitely a project, man, and we're gonna definitely make that joke a race car, man. Y'all know that Crown Vic. Y'all be like, man, why you put the big wheels on it, man? You really get the thing of the car. You can put the small wheels back on. Nah, I ain't gotta do all that. I mean, 
I know y'all know, I know y'all want to know what the car runs like with the uh, smaller wheels and tires. Yeah, eventually one of these days, possibly soon, I would do that. But the car is made how I want the car to be made. And it's running according to how I want it to run. And at the same time, that's just that being said, man. Uh, it's nothing against, you know, me riding lower and having the stock factory tires and wheels on the car. It's just the car is just made to my taste. And it's running with the wheels that I got on the car. And I basically want to go 30. So the car got the looks with the speed and the speed for the looks. So that's basically what we was going for. But now we got something on the back. It's gonna be a animal out here, guys. So that's the second project for the channel. So y'all make sure that y'all put that marking in your book. This is the 109th video that I'm posting. So this is the second project vehicle. There will be a third project vehicle probably up on my 150, yes, sir. 200 upload, yes, something sir. like that. Probably way sooner than that, man. But yeah, man, we running it up. We almost at the house now. So we gotta offload the car. We just gotta be careful, cause like I said, it doesn't have any brakes. Uh, it does have an e-brake, so that's the only way that we're able to stop the car is the uh, e-brake. E-brake does work. So, yeah, man, we almost there. Y'all stay tuned for the ride, man. Yo, we back at the crib, fellas, and we are super excited, man, to have this piece of art a part of the family. And thank you to the guys that sold me the vehicle, man. Um, I did find this car on Facebook Marketplace and it was by far the cleanest car that I've seen of this nature. See, I'm, I'm trying not to tell y'all guys what it is yet, man, but I'm just super excited about it. And it's definitely the next project for the channel. As y'all can see, I'm basically chattering my teeth because I'm excited and it's cold out here, but yeah man we done drove a whole hour and a half there a whole hour and a half back man and we had a great conversation with those guys i didn't want to put them on camera and i didn't want to spoil the car that we got but for a lot of you guys that i was talking to in the truck if you guys seen that part of the video y'all already know what kind of car it is man um it has maybe like one or two cosmetic issues and that's it but the car has no dings no dents no scratches no nothing it's just the molding and the trim is kind of you know it needs some touching up but the rest of the car is good man uh so i know you guys are waiting to see it and you guys can partially see a little bit of it right there a little corner of it. <laughs> Yeah, man, I'm going to stop playing around, man, but y'all already know what it is, man. It's a Ford, so you already know from my last video what I was going for and what I've been talking about getting, and I told you guys that I was going to get it, and it came super quick for a great deal, man. Needs a little bit of work, but don't worry about that. We're going to get straight to it, man. It wouldn't be a project for this channel if it did need a little bit of work and a little bit of love and care, man. From your boy two-time moto tv and all of you guys so without further ado y'all know it's my favorite saying without further ado boom oh, God. man oh man your boy got a true gt fox body 1990 with the Cobra R wheels, 1990 Fox body Mustang. Like I said, there's a few little cosmetics. And y'all can basically see what, what I'm talking about, man. The door trim needs a little bit touching up, which I can go and get these little door trim pieces. They just pop out. And boom, you snap some more in. Maybe the mirrors need a little bit of touching up. But man, the rest of the car is in pristine condition now these panels right here are in the back of the car so we're gonna slap those on tonight because this car did get painted so we're gonna slap those panels on and uh also the exhaust has a few flaws uh that exhaust over there is not buttoned up as you guys can see that it's all the way up underneath the car and this one is sticking out how it's supposed to be that one is buttoned up correctly and the tent on the back window needs a little refreshing 
along with this here needs a little touching up man with a little bit of paint and love man but that is so much minor stuff just look at the body of this car it is in pristine condition even the body lines line up and the car is lining up perfectly now guys this is a true gt they did take the spoiler off but i will be getting a cobra r spoiler don't want to spoil that but guess what i'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys the first little cosmetic thing i'm gonna do is actually add that spoiler back and um man we don't have any brakes on the car so me and my brother we gonna uh, figure that deal out tonight but man no brakes to have a car like this i couldn't pass this deal up man everything just looked pristine with the car even look at the tail lights the back of the car just no dents no dings no badges no nothing so i can do whatever it is that i want to to this car guys and we bought it here on yours truly u-haul <laughs> but yeah man everything else you know i can go and get the the uh, headlights and stuff the bumper got a little crack in it here and there man but that's like little minor stuff the rest of the car is in immaculate condition you guys gotta check the interior out so we're gonna take a look at the interior of the 1990 fox body gt mustang but we'll get a little shot of the exterior mind you guys i haven't put a vacuum to the interior or nothing yet so as the car sits is how i bought it pretty clean for what it is it does need minor work not uh anything cosmetic well besides like the windows and stuff is cracked um and that needs to be painted along with that trim i may just go ahead and get brand new trim for everything and need to take the tent off in this window in the back here as you guys can see it's all bubbled up but we'll take a look at the interior very clean and this car basically is set so give you guys a shot there's no rips or nothing in the seats everything is in fairly good condition just needs a little cleaning headliner is in superb condition it looked like it just came off the lot no rips no tears no stains so we'll hop on in Get a cockpit view of how we're sitting. See, we got a tack gauge, an oil meter, and a water meter. This whole gauge cluster is definitely gonna be changed out. Uh, I kind of want something up to date, so we're gonna change this whole cluster up front. We're gonna do a lot of changes in the inside of the car to make it feel a little bit more sporty. We're definitely gonna get a double DN uh, CD player has a viper alarm system everything works power windows power steering everything works yeah guys um the car needs a little work man Really not much in the inside. Like I said, just a few changes here and there. But uh, everything seems to work fairly decent. Tack armor that needs to be plugged back up. Tack light, that's just a tack light cover. As you guys can see, they just keep the cover on it. So once I plug it back up, I'll be taking that off. But you know, let's get a whole view of the inside cabin again. Like I said, just needs vacuuming. It's just how I bought the car. I got a few leaves and stuff in it that probably came from myself as well. The back got a couple of headlight parts and a couple of other little trim pieces back there. But yeah, guys, we'll go ahead and crank it up. It is a, a five-speed manual. The exhaust need to be buttoned up as well. They're not buttoned up up on the passenger side to the muffler. So that's why she sounds kind of obnoxiously loud, but it's gonna definitely sound very clean and very crisp once we button all of that up. I may put the uh, Super 10 40 Flowmasters on it. 
I mean the Super 10 Flowmaster. And uh, she has a cam in it, a 303 cam. Uh, some head work, some four to one headers. no issue uh, we're gonna fix that brake issue figure out what's going on with the brakes and then we'll be able to put this thing on the street guys so yeah man hopefully y'all enjoy the next project for the channel there will be a few cosmetics coming for the outside but we want to paint everything with uh performance wise first before we start doing a lot of cosmetic stuff like how we did with the big we kind of did a lot of exterior cosmetics and then start dumping power in it but yeah we're gonna probably do the power first in this and then start doing cosmetics but yo this thing is gonna be a beast it's gonna be an animal by the time we get done yeah man two time moto tv i hope y'all enjoyed the video hit that like button make sure y'all subscribe to the channel a lot of you guys aren't subscribed yes so make sure y'all subscribe to the channel turn on that bell notification for future uploads because this project is definitely gonna be a street animal man for my location two time moto tv out man and peace